Hello friends, this is Rahul. Let's simply learn robotic process automation with UiPath. In this video, we will see UiPath and SharePoint integration. Basically, we will upload the file onto the SharePoint folder or a location from the local machine or a server. Okay, let's move on to the UiPath Studio. So basically, I have developed one of the XAML here. Uh, to develop this particular XAML, I have used uh, some a package which is developed by UiPath that is UiPath.MicrosoftOffice365.Activity which is version 1.11.1 .1. so this is the package that or dependency I have used once you added this dependency on your project the activity is added under integration under Microsoft and yes here so these are the file related activities are there so mainly right now we are dealing with upload the file so hence we are we we are using this upload file activity now let's move on to the uh, xaml file so here we i have used microsoft office 365 scope and for that activity we have provide certain property or let's say details here one is application secret key another is application id another is tenant id services is we have selected files and share because we are dealing with SharePoint site authentic authentication type we have selected app ID and secret key so basically we are doing the authentication based on the application ID and the secret key now from where we got the application ID and the secret key let me move on to the Azure application yeah so this is the uh, uh, Azure portal so here what it, what exactly we have done we have basically create one uh, application app registration under active directory so here you can see we have created UiPath. This is one of the app registration that we have created. And from here we will get, we, 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 we received that application ID, tenant ID and secret client credential from secret key from here. Okay. Now I have created one separate video. How basically we can integrate this app registration with SharePoint site. Okay. Now for, for this video, we have basically using this particular SharePoint site and for this particular sharepoint site we have these uh, certain folders and files now in our scenario basically we will be uploading the file under dev under subfolder under dev so in this location we will be going to upload the file now let's move on to the uipath studio yeah so we have used another activity called find files and folder under microsoft office 365 scope and here we have basically again provided certain properties called subfolder then result and created some variable here result and then in argument we have basically passed drive name and site url let me show you what all details that we have passed <clears throat> so basically this file this activity being used to basically uh, find the files and folder from the location now moving on to the argument yeah so here we have passed for app id secret key and tenant id for microsoft office 365 scope activity and for the find files and folder we have passed one of the argument or let's say a value to the argument that complete folder path from the root directory which is something dev and subfolder so our objective let's is as i mentioned we have to upload under dev under subfolder 2 and under temp and in this location that we have to upload the fold uh, file so that's what we have upload the uh, uh, we have basically passed this dev subfolder which is something the path from the root directory drive name we have passed as a document because you can see here is the document that is something a drive name or let's say a, a, a root directory then the target folder target folder is something that we we are going to upload onto the devs of folder 2 and temp so temp is our targeted folder yeah and the site url site url is nothing but the sharepoint site which is something which is something this yeah so this is the sharepoint site that we are using it and we have to upload the four files under the dev under subfolder 2 under temp now 
so we have used another activity called for each and we are iterating whatever result that we have received under v result that is called item uh, drive item array array of drive item we can say and that items we are iterating it okay now now for each activity there is a type of argument for that you have to select microsoft.graph.drive item this is the argument that you have to select uh, then only you will able to retrieve these particular uh, the array of drive item otherwise it will giving you an error okay so this is one of the key point i can say so type of argument should be appropriately set for for each activity yeah then what we have done basically yes our objective we have to upload the file in a specific folder so for that purpose basically we have basically verify or let's say put some condition if the folder name is matches then only it will upload the file on that particular folder so for that we have basically put item dot name dot to string equals target folder name the target folder name is something temp which is this one yeah. and the finally we will be using we are using upload file activity here uh, one of the file to upload this is something the path of the file here we are simply uploading the project.json file from this our project for the demonstration purpose then destination folder should be item because this is the item that we will be receiving it on which uh, folder we have to upload it and the conflict behavior so there are three types of conflict behavior depending upon the uh, depending upon the need or depending upon the scenario you can use this conflict behavior right now we are using just replace okay replace would help us for the up uploading to file if there is no file present or it can it will be replaced if the file or existing file is there now let me run this xaml execute this xaml <coughs> right now you can able to see there is no file present in this temp yeah this is successful this is successful yeah this is success all activity executed successfully let yeah, it is completed let me go on to this particular sharepoint site let me refresh yeah so here you can see the file is uploaded file is getting uploaded successfully yeah so this is the way that you can you can upload the file onto the sharepoint site or let's say folder on a specific folder dip uh, by implementing the development like this okay so now what we can do we can basically try one another scenario here right now we have uploaded the files under the dev then under the subfolder 2 and under the team okay now let's say we have to upload the file under the production let's say Todd for fraud folder which is is on the drive item so for that purpose what i will do i will not pass any any uh, subfolder here reason being it will then directly look into the folders from the root directory okay so i have just removed here and now the folder targeted folder name should be prod that i will change it to here okay let me save this and let's run yeah you can see it is successful yeah so all activities executed successfully execution completed now let's move on to the sharepoint site and see whether we are able to upload the file yes we are able to upload the file successfully onto the expected folders okay yeah so this is the way that uh, you can upload the files onto the sharepoint site in any folder or any any uh, subfolders with the help of uipath activities uh, uipath 
Microsoft Office 365 activities and yes it will help you uh, to solve your problems yeah so that's it in this video thanks for watching uh, in case you have any question comment feel free uh, to comment uh, thanks thanks for watching